Hello, welcome to Waypoint Survival. Today, I want to talk to you about a real emergency power supply system that I think you'll find interesting. Stay tuned. What this is, is the Picron E1500 LFP. And it is an awesome battery power supply system for emergencies. And as you see, I have a lamp plugged into it that was visible in the intro, and it's just a fabulous power supply system. In the last year or two, here living out in the country, as we do, we've had multiple power outages through mostly wind storms and heavy rain downpours. And because we are not really completely off grid, but we definitely live pretty far off the beaten path, uh, it's one of those things where you can have power be gone for a day or more depending on how bad the power outage is. So we have used our Picron systems multiple times and I really like the size of this one. I had demonstrated a slightly larger, the E2000 LFP and uh, I really like it. We've used it extensively and they were kind enough to send me this system, so in full disclosure, uh, they sent this to me for testing and evaluation, and also I want to promote it to you because I think that this has a place in a lot of people's preparedness. There's something that these things can do that you don't get from a gas-powered or diesel-powered generator or a propane-powered generator to the effect that it doesn't need gas or oil and you can take it in the house, it's completely safe, and you can charge all your devices, and you can run some pretty significant things off of it. So looking at the front, you'll see that there are three 110 outlets right here. And I had this plugged into our small chest freezer, deep freeze, and it ran it for 12 hours, and it did phenomenal, and uh, pulled it down to about 45% running the deep freeze the entire time. So that was pretty impressive. I was pretty happy with it. Then I plugged it into an LED lamp and ran it for another 12 hours. Now that did pull it down to about 7%. So again, uh, you're going to have to moderate what you use this on. But there's a really good thing about this and I'll get to that in a minute. The other things are you've got your AC and DC right here so you can choose. You have a 12 volt port so anything that you would use for camping or in an RV can use that. It also has multiple ports here where you can plug in anything that takes a USB and also has two USB-C's. So that makes it really, really nice for emergency power. There are also a couple of other 12 volt options here. And of course, for people who are RVers or truckers, uh, all of these options right here are great for your DC output. And you just select which one you want, AC or DC, depending on what your power usage is. Over on this side is where you recharge it, and this is for your standard cord that comes with it. And something that I really like about this system that is better than the other systems that I have used is that it actually comes with an integrated AC charging adapter. So all you have is just a cord that plugs into the wall. Everything else is integrated, so you don't need that big, heavy charging block that came with the older ones. It also comes with a nice zippered case, which has very easy to follow instructions. It has cables here so you can hook it to a battery if you want to charge it that way using 12 volt or if you have something that you want to run a 12 volt system off of. So that's really very handy. You can also charge it using your car's 12 volt power outlet socket. This is the connector for the solar panels, and this is your standard three-prong plug that is used for charging it. And as you can see, no charging block. You just plug this into the wall, plug it in here, and you're good to go. You can also buy additional power packs to go to this, and you can actually expand it up to 7,680 watt hours using the expansion packs. I don't have any of those right now, but I'd love to show you that in the future. It's a very easy to read screen when you power it up as indicated by the battery symbol. It's 100% right now using the AC as it's indicated there. And it's actually pulling zero watts right now because we're using an LED lamp bulb. And it will run at this rate for 51 hours using just a lamp. So you're looking at, if 
you just use it for lights, you're looking at several days of use in the evenings. If you have a cell phone that uses induction charging, you can just lay it on top of the unit and it'll top off your cell phone for you. This is a pretty powerful little system. It will run on average 2200 watts of power with 4400 of surge power. That's really important because a lot of appliances when they start up have a much higher surge. And so it does produce 30 amps. So that's good to know if you're trying to figure out what this can power. Uh, it can run a refrigerator, a freezer, or even a window unit, AC. So if you have health issues and you're concerned about a power outage, you can get one of these and run a small window unit. At least you can keep one room of the house fairly cool and anywhere from 5,000 to 12,000 BTUs. So that's pretty impressive and it's a good thing to know in an emergency. It's also great for those who need a CPAP and they're afraid they might not be able to sleep good at night and because it's completely silent, you're not gonna have to worry about a lot of noise while you sleep at night. So that makes it great for car camping as well as, as I said before, small RVs. It also has a Wi-Fi function with app control so you can control this remotely if you wish. And for those who know about such things, it's pure sine wave power, which is clean power for electronics. So you don't have to worry about charging a laptop or a cell phone or anything like that on here. It's not gonna damage your electronics. It only weighs about 40 pounds, so most people can carry it. The real key to this system and what makes this so amazing for emergencies are these two folding solar panels. They're about seven and a half to eight feet long when they're folded out and they fold up like a suitcase. I'll show you that here in a minute. I did test these. I ran it all the way down, as I said, to 7%, and then I put it out in the sunlight. It started out being a cloudless day, ended up being a cloudy day. And it really does charge that up in about three and a half hours in the sunlight, which again, you can use this every day. Now, if you're using grid power or you're charging it off of an electric or a propane generator, then it does it even quicker between one and a half to just a little under two hours, uh, depending on how long you're charging it. But it's, it's really, really a fast charging system. This uses the LIFE P04 battery, which is a new technology. It can run up to 3,500 charge cycles, still retain 80% of its charge. You know, a lot of batteries, they have a maybe a 500 or 1,000 charges before they lose their ability to hold the charge very well. But this one, 3,500 cycles, you can charge it and it'll still have 80% of its power. If you do the math on a 365 day year, not including leap years, but uh, that means you can run this for nine and a half years. You can use it at night, run your electronics, put it out the next day with the solar panels and charge it right back up to use again the next night every day for nine and a half years. I think this is a very viable option for survival. When you go to open this up, to lean it at the right angle for the sun, it has these really nice Velcro legs. You just extend these out, open it flat, and lean it down at whatever angle you desire. It does come with a built-in charging cable, all ready to go, and uh, you can keep these zip tied together if you wish, but everything's here. The instructions are very clear. It's very easy to hook up. Folding it is quite easy. You have these two Velcro sections, and you simply bring them together like this, and you fold the two outer ends together and there you have it your four solar panels all put together and these are 330 watt panels so you have 660 watts total when you put them together so there it is with the panels folded up and the system again very very simple very easy to use and i'm telling you that those solar panels make all the difference you really need at least two for adequate charging for off-grid power if you're going to use it every day in an emergency you can put up to three panels on this for a total of 800 watts of input so it'd be two of these large ones and one of the smaller 200 watt panels is i believe how that works again you can use it in the house it's totally safe and especially for people who maybe aren't as strong as others or they don't want to have to mess with a gasoline generator, something that you have to try to figure out how to start, sets for months when you go to start it, you know, you're pulling and pulling and pulling and you have to clean the carburetor and all that kind of stuff. This is emergency power that's immediately available. You just pull this out of the closet, turn it on and plug things in. And uh, it's very easy to use and maintain. And about every three months, you want to draw it down to about 30% and then charge it back up and just let it set until you really need it. 
I think you should look at the Picron E1500 LFP for your emergency needs. I'm very impressed with it. Our family has used it. We all really like it. My wife and children really like it because they are able to pull this out and plug it in and use it without any real problem at all. So I don't have to worry if I'm away and the power goes out. I know they can use a microwave, they can use a hot plate, they can warm up food and, and do some basic needs around the house. And uh, the kids can watch videos and all that kind of stuff without having to worry about not having any power. This is James Bender for Waypoint Survival. I hope you liked this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Make sure and check out the Picron system. I'm gonna put some links down below where you can go and check that out for yourself. They are on sale right now, so I'd recommend getting it. You can even pre-order them if they're not in stock. As far as I know, they do have them, so I would go ahead and get on this right now. We do appreciate you watching the video. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, please do that and subscribe. And when you do subscribe, make sure and press that bell button so that you can stay notified of all of our upcoming videos. And we'll talk to you next time.